Hi everybody, this is Kyle, the founder of God and Beauty, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the three keys to becoming a well-paid influencer. Now, this is the first time we're meeting, because I haven't really talked on our Instagram or Instagram stories very much, and so I wanted to say thank you for following and for supporting our group. It means a lot. And I also wanted to tell you a little bit about me. My background is in sales, training, and education, and to date, I've actually trained over 10,000 women in principles of entrepreneurship. So, you know, I might have something to say to help you grow your business just a little bit. Now, I'm making today's, you know, little success series because I get a ton of email and direct messages from influencers, maybe just like you, they really want to know, Kyle, how do I monetize my business or can I work with you? And it's humbling when somebody emails or DMs asking if they can work with God and Beauty and our team. Uh, but really, your business should be in your hands. Now, sometimes I get hit up by potential influencers who have 600 followers, 6,000 followers, and everybody wants to know, you know, do I have enough followers in order to start making money on Instagram? Well, the heart of the issue is really whether you're on Instagram, a blog, YouTube, is it your business? And have you grown it? Have you grown your influence to actually be able to work with brands instead of just being introduced to brands? I could introduce you to brands all day, but until you have a business and an idea of how to create content that really captures a wide audience and gets great engagement, you need to continue to work up the ladder till you get to that point. You should be confident in the fact that you've built a business for yourself before you ever reach out to somebody like myself or God and Beauty or our agency or any other agency because the business should always be in your hands. So today, three simple steps to becoming a well-paid influencer. I'm not talking about just becoming a paid influencer. Some of you out there, no matter you know what size of following you have, will get lucky and make a little bit of money. I'm talking about making real money. If you do these three things that I tell you to do today, I can guarantee you, you will see a dramatic increase in the profits for your business. All right, again, it's your business. Let's see those profits get bigger. I should throw out there that this works. These three things work whether you have 100 followers or 1,000 followers or a million followers. You do these three simple things and you're going to find success really grows for your business. So what are those three keys to being a well-paid influencer. Well, number one is to do a daily 10, 20 outreach. Number two is to work on two big stories every single month. And number three is to drive traffic to your own. Let's start with number one, the daily 10 or 20 or whatever. What do I mean when I say you should reach out to five people a day, 10 people a day, 20 people, 100 people a day. Well, as a great example, David's been here from our roster, follow him at David's been here. David reaches out to 10, I feel like at the bare minimum, sometimes 20, 100 people every single day. Now, why would he do that? That sounds crazy, it sounds like a lot of work, and it is, but it's hustling to uncover and create relationships that are going to move your business up to the next level. And David is always thinking about how to move to the next level. So sometimes he'll send me five emails, you know, of people he wants me to reach out to or call, and then he'll reach out on his own. He's a hustler. But what do I mean by this? Again, daily five, daily 10. It's simply reaching out to five different people to start a conversation about working together. That could be people that you've already worked with and you want to rekindle something. Maybe it's a new brand that you've researched where you will actually dig in and find their contact to introduce yourself. It should also be people that you've worked with in the past just to thank them for the opportunity that you had to work with them. And it also helps that right there, helps continue the conversation and keep your business growing with that particular brand. 
One of the most valuable forms of outreach you can do in your daily five or daily 10 is to actually provide brands that you've worked with with a results summary. How did you feel that that went instead of just letting it slide off the table and forgetting about that project? It's always a great idea and brands appreciate it when you reach out, give them the content, give your analysis and ask for their feedback too. Really strengthens the relationship and allows for the conversation to go into the direction of working together again. So one more time, the first key to being a well-paid influencer is to do a daily 5, 10, 20, 100 outreach to brands that you've worked with or want to work with. Let me just throw in there real quick. If you do the math, reach out to five people a day. That's 25 people a week and 100 people a month. Imagine your projects if you were reaching out to 100 people a month. Now, our second key to being a well-paid influencer is to focus on two or more major stories every single month. What do I mean by that? It seems obvious, but I'm not talking about your simple street style photos on Instagram or a quick upload of a haul on YouTube. I'm talking about big content that you put everything into. These two stories should be the types of ideas that you, you know, try to get loans for clothes from, pick out locations, lighting, work with other influencers or with other creatives to make it better. Something again, you're putting everything into. This kind of content is called your, your banner content. And really it's what you should focus on every single month to drive maximum attention to. These are gonna be great pieces for case studies, great pieces for you to share with brands to show what you're capable of doing. If you work on at least two of these kinds of stories every single month, think about your portfolio and what you're gonna be able to share with brands in terms of, hey, you should work with me because look at what I can do. Look at what I'm doing consistently, month in month. So again, if you're starting right now today, if you're listening to me at this moment, think about how you can actually fit in one to two more big content pieces, even right now in the month of April. What can you do this month that's gonna blow people's minds? The second key to success was to develop two major banner pieces of content that you're gonna drive everything to, all of your effort to. And that leads us to our third key to becoming a well-paid influencer, which is driving traffic to your own content. Some of you might say, well, Kyle, uh, I posted on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever it may be. Aren't people just going to see that content and come to it and engage with me? I don't know. You've got to realize that you are the best hype man that anybody could be. Like you're going to hype your content better than anybody out there because you made it right. You should be proud of what you're putting out there. So with that in mind, it behooves you like that word behoove to actually talk about your own content and get people excited about it and show people that you are excited about your content and want to share it with them. So if you've created a masterpiece of a blog or a brand new YouTube video, make sure you you're utilizing all of your channels to drive attention to your content, Instagram stories, Instagrams, YouTubes, Facebook, Again, you name it. Use whatever channels you have at your disposal to drive people to the main content you wanna see, which is going to serve you in a few different ways. By doing this, you're actually gonna increase your engagement tenfold, twentyfold, hundredfold, because you're really driving people to engage with your content, to have something to say. You're inviting them into the conversation around what you've created and what you wanna share with them, and that's important. The other great thing is, is that, of course, naturally, by increasing your engagement, you're increasing your analytics that you can then share with brands by saying, hey, look, all of these people wanted to talk about my blog post. All these people love my video. So just to recap, you, you are responsible for hyping up your own work. That's just how it goes. Put the link to your latest work in your bio all across every channel. Uh, do a call to action, call people to the action of leaving Instagram, say, hey, leave and go to my blog and check it out or go to my YouTube and check it out. You could be posting multiple Instagram stories or even behind the scenes shots from the creation of your big content piece, the big thing you wanna share. 
that kind of stuff is gonna get people excited to check out your new new. The other thing I don't want you to forget about is um, Pinterest. Pinterest is one of the best drivers, uh, and you can ask anybody in your research. Pinterest drives so much traffic, so be pinning out there. And last but not least, engage your uh, your followers, so even if you've just got a few, to reshare your content, to share your content, reshare, tag their friends so that more eyes can be on what you've created. And last but not least, engage your uh, your followers, so even if you've just got a few, to reshare your content, to share your content, reshare, tag their friends so that more eyes can be on what you've created. The last key to success again was to drive traffic to your latest banner piece. You are the hype man for your own influence. So to recap, our three keys to being a well-paid influencer. Number one, you've got to hustle up those contacts, your daily five, 10, 20. Number two, create two major story pieces every single month. And number three, drive traffic to that major. You can do these three things today. I guarantee if you actually put these three things into practice, you're gonna see your business go from zero to 100 real quick, real, real quick. That's it for this week's success series here on Instagram Stories with me, Kyle, and God and Beauty. I wanna know, what did you think? I see a lot of you have been following along on each of these little story pieces, so what did you think? What are you going to put into practice in your business? Comment on our latest Instagram post, and I'm gonna pick three of you to shout out. So, tell me what you thought. Tell me what you're gonna use, and we will shout you out. And I wanted to ask you a quick favor. If you know somebody who's blogging on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever, if you know a social media influencer who wants to be well paid, well, tag them up, share this content. Let's help each other grow, right? You help me, I'll help you. We'll keep doing these fun success series and we will all grow together. Thanks for tuning in. If you wanna catch all this content that comes through that's amazing, make sure you subscribe, get the notifications from God and Beauty, and we will see you in our next success series.